G'day everybody. Uh, I've been asked to just give a bit of a run through on how I set up my sequencer on my retract and gear doors uh, for my Nimbus. Similar setup I used on my ASW22. I'm running a Futaba 18SZ, a pretty uh, standard bit of gear. So first of all, I go into linkage menu and to function. And I've got them on the third screen. So you can see that I've set up um, channel 13, 14 and 15 for the retract, the left door and the right door. And importantly, you'll see there's no control switch allocated here. Now, normally that would be the case, but doing the sequence process, uh, I've avoided that in this location. You normally go to the um, endpoint, set up the endpoint travels and you'll do all this before you actually go into the sequence process. So retract left door, right door, and you can see the amount of travels here allocated, 107, 109 on the retract, and the left hand door, 114 to 90, and the right door, 110 to 86. Uh, they're not identical because the control horns on the doors are probably just a bit of brass that's bent over with a whole board in them, so they're not precisely the same length. So that's where you do the, the travels. You also do servo speed in this area here, and that's really just gauged on how fast you want the retract to operate. And with a five inch wheel uh, and the actual arm on the retract being fairly heavy, um, you want you don't want a, a snap movement on the retract. You want a relatively slow movement because you've got to have, you've got to deal with the inertia to accelerate the wheel and to slow it down at the other end of the travel. So I'm using 15 uh, units here. It's not 15 seconds. Uh, but that's uh, just giving an indication of what I've done. So we go back out of here and now we'll go into the glider menu, into program mixes, and I've got a mix for each of the servos here, for the left hand door, for the right hand door, and for the retract. So just go into the retract itself first and foremost. And what we've got here is a travel graph over time. So in the retract, uh, when I flick the switch, there's no travel on the retract during this period here. And when you see the next screen, you'll see that the doors are opening on this part of the screen while the servo for the retract is remaining idle. So there's no travel while the bar goes across. And if I move the bar, you'll see that it moves across like that. So all the travel for the retract occurs in this last part here. So just go to the second screen. This is the most important part and Futaba make it the second screen, I'm not sure why. So here, it's normal switch allocation uh, for a lot of other mixes that you would do or uh, allocation of functions. So here the master is switch F, which is the back one, oops, sorry. Switch F, um, which is this one here, and I use up for retracted and down for, um, for, for the wheel down. So retract obviously being the slave and I've used in and out. This is the time that the line goes across the, the screen, 15 units in and 15 units out. It's not seconds, it's just a measure that they use. Um, so that's pretty much how it's set up. I'll show you how to set up the, uh, the graph um, on another, on the, one of the other mixes. So I'll just go to the right hand door. Uh, I'll go to page two or screen two. Again, switch F is the master, same on all of them. So the same switch obviously functions on all three channels. Slave is the right hand door. And I've got 20 in and 20 out, I'm not sure why. Um, really could be 15, I don't think it really makes any difference. It will make some difference, but very minor. So you can see here, um, conversely, uh, all the travel here is on the left hand side. So when I flick the switch, the doors will open first travel along here and then the wheel will go down when it goes to the other one. So pretty simple, Just it's set up using a point system. So if you just uh, go into this, me this menu here and just hit point, that's what it normally looks like. So we'll just go over here. Um, and what I want to do, I want to add one at 90. So I'm just going to move one there. I need to add a point at 90. Um, and then I want to allocate a rate to it and I'll move this up to 100. And then I'll just go to the next point down and I'll move it down 
to negative 100. And then I'll come across. And I'll just remove these points because they really don't do anything. And this one here, I'm going to put a rate, I'm going to go up to 100. And that's it. So there's probably not much more to explain. I think it's um, that's obviously retract and that's the gear door closing. Um, hopefully that explains it fairly well. If there are any questions and you can shoot me an email uh, or send it back through RC groups. Um, hopefully that answers any questions. Okay, cheers.